What's up everybody, Big Mike here. I'm here with the uh, Gas Monkey Garage 1975 Datsun 280Z 2 Plus 2 that I had the honor of designing and building with Gas Monkey Garage. It is a, a very, very era specific, beautifully done car that's meant to complement and not change the body lines. But don't, don't get mistaken, this is a full blown race car. A great nimble performance, very well balanced and uh, it's using an S14 SR20 fully built power plant. It's a Garrett GT3071 turbo, using all vibrant performance AN plumbing, tight radius elbows, and uh, HD clamps, and a variety of other accessories needed to make this car what it is. Okay, so what we did was, Full restoration on the car in addition to custom modification, but there's a lot of restoration aspect to it. This is the original paint color, just refreshed. These are dead stock 70s Datsun fender mirrors that I was able to find brand new. And we did them here on the fenders. It's just a variety of concepts done in, in, a, in a way to keep it era specific, but to contemporize it. Electronics, power plant, and everything else is very contemporary. Full race billet suspension from AZC. It's a Q45 rear diff with the Tomei LSD inside of it. This is an extremely quick, nimble, and powerful car. The power to weight ratio makes this, makes this one a monster. So what we have here is an S14 SR20 power plant. There's a lot of custom fabrication that was done by the guys at Gas Monkey. For example, you have this air box that uses a K&N drop-in for Chevy applications on the top and the bottom. So you have air coming in from both sides and there's a contouring done to the valve cover to keep it smooth and clean looking, but to, to, to make it more streamlined. These are vibrant performance overflow tanks that we use, plumbed using the vibrant plumbing here. This is a hyper-tuned billet intake manifold, custom charge piping, a turbo smart blow-off valve, an HD clamp. I also used a vibrant tight radius elbow to the intercooler so we could fit it right where we needed to. We used a hyper-tuned top mount turbo manifold on the hot side and twin turbo smart waste gates over there. It's a Honeywell Garrett GT3071 turbo. And uh, also on, on all of the plumbing right here, I use the heat sleeving. This particular line is right here above the turbo. So we wanted to make sure and uh, Vibrant Performance offers the heat shield. So I put that on there. I decided to use Vibrant Performance for this build because I've worked with the company for years. The stuff has never failed me. I used it on my personal Prelude build and so it was only logical to bring it over to use on this particular build. I've used their line with the black with the blue tracer and this time because of the green paint from Dotson, I felt like the red would be a good complement and the Vibrant Performance offers black with a red tracer. Subtle, matches a couple other red accents on the vehicle to break up the color and uh, I felt like it worked perfectly. The execution by myself, the guys at Gas Monkey Garage has created a very, 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 very well-rounded Z that even though it looks subtle, is an absolute monster. Okay, so 1975 Datsun 280Z 2 Plus 2. A lot of the Datsun purists go after the coupe. I've personally always enjoyed the 2 Plus 2. The rear end is where the controversy is because the quarter window and things like that, but I really enjoy it and I decided to take the rear seats, which nobody really has because people don't really use 2 Plus 2s and really go over the top, but in a really subtle way. So, 09 Racing in Japan is really famous for making things like a Hakatora front end conversion for a Datsun truck. So what we did was, we got these 09 Racing bucket seats from Japan. It's got a certain style to it. It's got these eyelets, which are kind of reminiscent of the original seats in the Datsun that have two lumbar vents. And so it keeps kind of that style and I thought they were really racy look to fit the car. But I had the rear seats, which don't exist in the coupes. The 2 plus 2 has the rear seats, took them and had them done to be like a matching set with these front seats. This is a Datsun Competition steering wheel, horn button, Datsun uh, shift knob. And all of this interior is actually original because this car had 13,000 original miles and it was in almost perfect condition when we got it. So what you see down in the center console is a keypad. It's a rye wire keypad, very subtle. The gauges are all custom units made by Speed Hut. It's a GPS speedometer, tachometer, your oil pressure, oil temp, and water uh, temperature. And they all have the GMG or the Gas Monkey Garage logo cut into them. I thought it was a very special, small but special detail. The rear of the car, there was a lot of work done to the rear pan of the car. 
These cars have massive bumpers. In 75, the Z had those big chrome bumpers that were extended out for crash. Here, the, the laws for California, the United States needed crash bumpers. So we shaved them off, contoured the rear end to smooth it out, but not change the body, accent it. It's a BRE wing. I'm very much into minor details, even details that may be missed. Sometimes they take the most effort, but they, they really pay out in the end. This is based off of an original Z quarter panel logo and emblem. But what was done was, it was instead of a Z here, it's the GMG logo, Gas Monkey Garage logo cut in. This is a full metal piece, CNC one piece. Same logo that's on the gauges, brings fluidity and ties in the Gas Monkey Garage name because that's who built the car. It was a very big honor to be able to go there, design it and build it with them. And so I thought it was very important to have these subtle touches uh, on the car in, in a few different places where only a good eye is gonna catch them. All right, so what you have here is a Volk TE37V, I had the contact raise, I knew these wheels would look perfect on here, and we wrapped them in Nitto tires. TE37V, V stands for vintage, the cut and the design is totally what I wanted, it looks era specific, keeps the theme going, and the bronze, that classic Volk bronze against this green color, made for a perfect combination. Everybody knows Richard Rawlings and Gas Monkey Garage. Fast and Loud TV, the current season. If you look for this car, watch the show. Episodes number five and six, this car's coming out. You'll see how we built it together. I've known Richard from the industry, SEMA, etc. He always told me, if I ever build an import, I'm gonna probably get a hold of you. And you know what, he did. He said, I wanna build a tuner, what do you think? We talked about it and he asked me to come to Gas Monkey and build it, and I did. Crazy honor. Texas Hot Rod Shop building a tuner and me being the guy to come and design it. It's a very, very big deal for the industry and I'm an honor to be a part of it. I just want to take the time to say thank you to all of the people, friends, fans, followers who have supported me over the years. I'm just a, a privateer car enthusiast who loves imports and to be called in uh, to help design and build the first ever import build at a world famous Texas hot rod shop, Gas Monkey Garage. So shout out to Gas Monkey, shout out to Richard Rawlings for calling me and uh, bringing me in to do this build. Uh, tune in to Fast and Loud TV this season on Discovery to see the two episodes that cover what we did with this car. Thank you.